Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and this is part two of the Beginner Guide. Here, well, I kind of lost uh, my streak. I wasn't able to play for a couple days, and here we were able to watch some ads so that we can continue the five-day streak here. So I was still able to get that food, and we were able to go back in time and get Sunday's reward. Right now, it's the 8th of February, so we got a little bit of gold this morning here, and things are looking great. Let's get this going. Here, we're just gonna close that, and looks like some things are ready. Here, we're gonna be able to clear that rock, clear that tree, and we just completed a goal of clearing the big tree from the lush island, which gives us a little bit of experience. Here, if we go to our goals, we can claim all of these awesome rewards. We just got a free gem there. Here, we're getting a little bit of gold and some experience rock on so there we fed our dragons to level six we've got some gold waiting for us over here we're gonna go ahead and collect that and we also have some food as well Ooh, yas queen look at that so here we just got level seven we've got three free gems with that and here we've unlocked a new element the nature habitat the breeding event island two more habitats in total that we can have and an extra farm awesome so let's keep this going here. Uh, I'm going to pass on this offer. And yeah, of course I'm enjoying Dragon City. Here, we're just gonna skip that for now. And let's see, here we're gonna get that food right there. And I want to grow some more food as well. Let's see, here, let's go for five minutes. So here, I'm just gonna get some food and we're gonna set those all three of those farm for five minutes. And I'm going to click there so we can go to the shop. Here in the shop, we now have access to a new farm. So I'm going to go ahead and build that fourth farm right there. Let's go to that farm and start growing some food. So we're going to click five minutes there. Beautiful. And when we were in our shop for the buildings, I saw there was another item. Here we're able to get the Dragon Roost level one. That's 10,000 coins. So uh, it's a little pricey in the gold category, but this is going to help us level up our dragons even more. So I'm going to go ahead and build that there. It also gave us a thousand experience. Here, if we go to our goals, uh, let's see. Uh, one of our goals is to breed a sea with a flame dragon. So we're going to work on that there. Super cool. In expanding, getting the nature dragon egg. Okay. Perfect. So here we've got a couple things we can work on and looks like we breeded a dragon. We bred a dragon already. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the hatchery so we can hatch that egg. Well, earlier we had a quest of breeding. Was it the flame and the sea dragon? So I'm going to go ahead and start that going on here. Possible rewards. Uh, you can get a uh, you know, three different dragons. We have the power dragon, the cloud dragon, and the blizzard dragon. Let's see what we get. I'm going to go ahead and breed that there. Ooh, okay. That has a five hours breeding time. So we'll see that next time. But we've got that started. Here when it comes to our hatchery, let's see. We can get another egg, I believe. And I'm going to go for the nature dragon egg. Awesome. The nature dragon has a hatch time of 20 minutes, so we're going to let that go. And I want to go back to my shop. We're going to go to habitats here. We're going to go ahead and build a nature habitat for when that dragon egg is ready to be hatched. We're going to place that right there. Ooh, and that's going to take an hour. So that's going to take a little bit more time uh, to be ready than the actual nature dragon egg. That's OK. Here, let's go check out our battles. So when it comes to battles, we can go to our quest department. And here, we're going to be able to get some more experience. Ooh, but we're not quite yet at the requirements. Here to be able to play the Martial Arts Cup, we're going to need that nature dragon. So we've got a little bit of work to do to get there. Let's see. So this is going pretty good. We've got a sea habitat. We've got two of the Terra habitats. Here we've got the flame habitats. Let's see. How much is it going to be to expand? Ooh, I like this. So here, um, you know, when you want to expand with land, you can go ahead and invest your gold there. So we just expanded to that next 
area of this island. There's also going to be events where you can get a reduction on the price for expanding. So that could be really great if ever you're a little low on gold, that'll save you a ton of gold. Um, you can get up to a 50% expansion rebate. Here in our hatchery, looks like our Aztec dragon is ready. Let's go ahead and place that dragon. Ooh, but we're not ready. Our habitats are full, so we're going to have to get either a Terra or a Flame habitat. So here, let's go ahead and build another. I'm going to go with Flame habitat. Oh, but we don't have enough gold. Okay, no biggie there. Here we're going to go and get the Terra habitat. We've got a little bit of gold ready there. Awesome. That's looking fabulous. And our habitat is now almost ready. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So we should be able to hatch that Aztec egg now. Rock on. There we go. So we just got another dragon. That's looking fabulous. Let's see. So here we're starting to make some more progress. This is going pretty good. Uh, here, these rocks, they're not that expensive to clear. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a couple of those. We're going to make some space so we can get some more items on our island. I'm uh, going to get rid of that tree. Here we're going to get rid of that medium tree there. There's a couple of these little bushes as well. Those aren't too expensive to get rid of there. Awesome. So that's going real good. Uh, right now we only have 5,000 gold. So let's go see our dragons. Here, when it comes to our dragons, we can feed them and that's going to level up. Uh, here, we're going to go to level 15, I think is going to be the max level. And ooh, now I'm out of food. So now that we got the hatchery over here, that helps us upgrade our dragons all the way to level 15. In the first video, we we're stuck at level 10. So now we're starting to make some more progress. Let's see. So here we've got our Aztec dragon, and I want to level up a little bit more, but we don't have enough food. So let's go ahead and keep making that food. Ooh, yes, here we can go ahead and regrow all the food. Going to collect that as well, regrow that food, collect some gold, and we've got some more experience coming our way from those bushes and rocks that we're clearing. There's another bush right there. Here we've got a medium tree, so I'm going to start on clearing those. Awesome. Let's see. So here, this is going great. We're kind of waiting on that nature dragon egg. But even if once it's ready, we're going to be able to hatch it because we don't have the habitat finished just yet. So a little bit tricky there, but no worries. There's plenty of time for this. Let's see here when it comes to our hatchery to level it up from level two to level three, it's going to be 30 gems. We're not quite yet there. So we're going to keep saving up our gems and eventually we're going to level up the hatchery. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, when it comes to the food farms, you can eventually upgrade those, but we're not quite yet there. Okay, we've got a lot of progress to do. We're still in the beginning of the game. Let's see. We've got, what, 4,000 gold? Maybe we can make another habitat. Ooh, okay. So I'm a little bit short on gold here. Uh, let's go to this island over here. We're going to get that next Aztec dragon, and I want to level it up a little bit. Right now, it's not producing that much gold, so by giving it a little bit more food, it's going to have a higher income. So let's see here. Oh, okay. We couldn't even get to level five. We're going to need some more food. So when you start this game, it's kind of a slow process, but it's going to get further and further as you progress. Let's see how much gold is ready right now. We've got a little bit of gold there, not too shabby, but there's definitely room for improvement. Awesome. So there, we've got that going on. We're going to go to our habitats. E still need 7,200 uh, 7, gold there. So we've got a little ways to go. Uh, let's see. Over here, it's not going to be too difficult. We can get some more dragons. I'm going to go and get a sea dragon egg. That's going to take 30 seconds to hatch, and that should help us progress a little bit here. In order to get the greenhouse, which can give you more food, you need level 9. So here, we're really going to work on getting some more experience. Once we get to level 8, we're going to be able to upgrade that farm. We're going to have a terra habitat, which we're going to be able to upgrade to level 2. That's going to be really useful. And we're going to be able to have some more habitats. So here, 
our sea egg is ready to be hatched. We're going to go ahead and take that sea egg. Ah, but once again, we're blocked. So here we're out of habitats. So this is kind of a tricky area. You've got to make moves to get more experience, but at the same time, you get kind of blocked in the game. So here I'm going to clear some easy items like those bushes, those little rocks there. It's a little expensive to clear the rocks, but it'll help us grow with our experience. Here we've got that bush right there, not too shabby. We've got a bush over here, a little rock right there. I'll try it. Awesome. So here we're making some progress slowly, but surely. Uh, I think there's a bush right there. Uh, can't quite get my thumbs on it. Okay, so here we got some gold coming through. That's looking good. Let's see if we have any easy quests to complete. So right now we're working on breeding our sea and flame dragons. Here to finish that quest, we need to speed up a big tree from Lush Island. So what that means is here we can go ahead. We're going to click on that to get rid of it and to speed it up. That's going to cost us some gems. Now, I want to save up my gems so I can upgrade my hatchery. So this isn't really something I recommend to do in general. But just to complete the quest, we're going to go ahead and get that taken care of. Rock on. So now we're starting to get some more experience from clearing these items here. And it's going to make space for more habitats once we get the gold. Beautiful. So slowly but surely, this is going great. Here, let's see. We've got uh, our dragons that are doing pretty good here. I'm waiting on that food as well. And I think we've got some food coming through in just a few seconds here. So I'm going to collect some gold so we can make some more food. And in just a second, I'm going to switch it up. Right now, we've been making food every five minutes, but it's going kind of slow. So once our food is ready, I'm going to do a different food. Uh, I'm going to do the food that takes a little bit more time. I think there's one that's only 30 seconds. So we're going to test that out there, and hopefully it'll give us a little bit bigger of a boost here. Let's see. So what else is going on? Here, we don't have much gold. It's a little tricky. I'd love to expand, but woo! Okay, the next expansion is 50,000 gold. We are nowhere close. This can be kind of a hurdle in the game. So definitely tricky here, but just keep on playing, keep it going, keep following the videos, and hopefully you'll be able to get past this difficult uh, hurdle in the game. Here, our food is finally ready, so let's go ahead and grow some food. Um, if ever you want to join an alliance, that can help you get even more benefit from growing food here. So to get an alliance, you need to be at level 16. That's a little bit tricky. So we're just going to go with the regular food for now. But once you get to level 16, I highly recommend joining an alliance so that you can get the extra benefits from the alliance food here on the right hand side. Here, we're going to go with the food that takes 30 seconds to grow. And put that right there. Fabulous. Looking good. Uh, here, we got that one right there. And one last food. Perfect. So now it's going to take less time for our food to be ready. We're going to be able to keep progressing there and feeding our dragons so that we get more gold in the process. You know, it's kind of like the wheel that keeps on spinning. You got to get food to grow your dragons so they can give you gold so you can grow more food. Beautiful. So here, our food's starting to come through. Yas, queen, that's what I'm talking about. Here, we're just going to regrow all uh, this food. We can go ahead and regrow that. Beautiful. And we've got our next food that's ready as well. Rock on. So here, let's see. I'm going to zoom in. We've got two dragons there. I want to... Ooh... Feed some dragons, but here, 145 for this dragon, it's not going to make a big difference. Let's see if there's a dragon that's a little bit closer. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Aztec dragon. So here, I can actually make a difference. Here, we're not going to be able to get it to level 6, but we're a lot closer. So now, we're getting a little bit more income. And check it out. Our food's already ready. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Order up. Here we go. So we're going to go back to this Aztec dragon, level it up one more. And we're slowly but surely getting some progress there. Beautiful. So now I'm kind of stuck when it comes to the hatchery. Our nature dragon egg is going to be ready in like nine minutes. And our sea dragon egg is ready. 
but we don't have any habitats for it. So we still got to get some gold so that we can build that next habitat. Let's see here, collect a little bit of gold there. We can go to our food, regrow all of that. Awesome. Collect that gold, collect that gold right there. Looking good. Yeah, perfect. So here we're getting a little bit of progress. That's going pretty well. Let's check out these dragons. So here I can see the second Terra dragon is only at level four. So we can feed it a little bit there. Whoop, it is wrong button. So here we're gonna feed it. Ooh, and we need more food. So the food that's coming, it's gonna help us out to get those dragons leveled up. Uh, Butes McGee there. Yeah, that's looking great. So here we're growing the food. We're slowly but surely getting some progress there. We've got a couple rocks that are about to come through for us here to give us a little bit more experience. And hopefully we'll be seeing that level eight in no time. You know, this is a good game that you can play, you can come back to, you know, do a little bit of work here and there. You don't have to stay stuck in front of your phone to be gaming all the time to be getting experience. Uh, let's see. So to get that next habitat, that's going to be kind of our long term goal here. So I want to get the next sea habitat, 7,200 gold. We're getting there. Here, we got a little bit more experience with those rocks that are coming through for us. Awesome. I'm going to collect that food and we're going to regrow the food. So I know I'm spending gold to get food, but it's going to be the gift that keeps on giving. So there we're halfway to leveling up our Terra Dragon. Going smoothly but surely. And let's see, when it comes to combat, yeah, we don't have anything we can do there. We still need to get the Nature Dragon Egg. And when it comes to League Battles, ooh, so how do League Battles work? You use your dragons to fight against your friends and other players in epic battles. You want to succeed in combat to it, obtain gold, progress in the league, and to claim the final reward. Don't worry. If you lose, you will not lose your dragons in battles. So this is a great way to get some extra progress. Let's go ahead and see how we do. We're going to try to get that next quest. And if we can uh, if we can win this final challenge, then we'll be getting some gems. So here I'm going to check out what's my strongest move, flaming arrows. And yes, we've got the first one down. Beautiful. Here we're going to try our second move. Perfect. Ooh, I think we've got some progress here. Let's try flaming arrows there. Patang. Yeah, victory. That is what I'm talking about. Here you can collect your instant reward or you can watch an ad to get seven times the food. And this is exactly what we need now. Great. So we just watched that ad and we were able not only to sevenfold our food, but we also completed the last quest of the league, which gives us an instant reward of three gems. Yas queen, that's what I'm talking about. Here, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to win these battles. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, our combat's also reset, so this is perfect. Here, I'm going to go ahead and use Flaming Arrows. Oh, we've got some promising moves happening. Here, Flaming Arrows. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. We are getting some success here. Yes, there we go. I cannot believe we got another victory. And here we can go ahead and watch another ad. I'll be right back. We're going to pause this. Awesome. So there we just got extra food with that. And this is going to be just what we need back on our island. So let's take a pause from those combats. Here we're going to go ahead. Ooh, collect that gold. Get some food and keep growing that food. We've got a little bit of experience waiting for us. And yes, here we just leveled up to level eight. Rock on. So now we can get that big food farm. The Terra habitat can be leveled up to level two. And not only that, but we also got three gems. That's what I'm talking about. Here, we're going to skip that offer. Perfect. Got, we have a little bit of experience there. Looking good. And now we've got tons of food. So I'm going to go back to our Terra habitat here. And we're going to level up our Terra dragon. Just a little bit. Here, we're going to go to level six. And that gives a little boost for the income there. Rock on. I also want to go to our Aztec dragon over here. And we're going to level it up just a little bit more. Awesome. So that's going real good there. Here our food's ready. And I want to go do some more combats in the league battles. So I'm going to switch up my food. 
here we're going to go back to taking five minute food. So we're going to go ahead and grow those chili pops there. Beautiful. Setting that food up. That's looking fabulous. Yeah. So now we've got a little bit more time, a little bit more game. We can go ahead and play those league battles and keep it going. I'm just going to get all of the gold from these habitats here. Yeah, that's looking great. Perfect. Back to our battles, back to our leagues, and let's go ahead and try this again. Fingers crossed. These league battles are not easy. Not at all. So far, I've been getting pretty lucky. I've been having a decent amount of success with this, but that isn't always the case. So just do your best. Keep trying. If you don't win, level up your dragons so it gives you a little bit of an extra boost so you have a bigger probability of winning. Yeah, stunning hit, patang, victory is ours. So here, definitely watching an ad to multiply the reward by eight times is worth it. So I'm gonna pause this once again and we're gonna watch an ad, I'll be back in a second. Awesome, so that just gave us 8,000 food. That's gonna be a game changer for us. Here, let's go ahead and try one more league battle. It's our last combat. So hopefully we'll be able to crush this level Let's see what happens. Oh, looking good so far. We're off to a good start. We got one down, two to go. Here, we're going to go ahead, try flaming arrows. Ooh, looking good. And here, awesome. I think we've got this. No way. Oh my gosh, victory once again. So I'm definitely going to take the time to watch another ad, get some more food, and we'll be back in another second. Awesome. I still can't believe that we won that battle there. Now we're out of combat, so we're going to have to wait six hours for those to refresh. I don't recommend spending gems on that. Uh, you know, time is really going to be the best thing on your side. Here, back on our island, we've got some progress and we've got tons of food. So here, I'm going to invest that food. Let's go check out our Aztec dragon. Here we've got um, the level 14 Aztec dragon. I definitely want to get this to level 15. And we're going to have to level up our dragon roost in order to go past level 15. Right now we've got a max, so it's going great. Here, this dragon is super strong, crushing it. And when it comes to our dragon roost, if we want to upgrade it, we have to get three dragons on our island to level 15 to upgrade. So now we've got one out of three. Let's go to our volcano dragon next. Here we're going to level up our volcano dragon and we've got tons of food. So now this is pretty easy to do. And oh yeah, we've already got our second level 15 dragon there. Next up, I think I want to go with our flame dragon. So we're going to go ahead, uh, feed this flame dragon over here. And hopefully we'll have enough food to get it to level 15. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. So now we've got three dragons that are level 15. I'm going to want to upgrade our roost. But now the only thing is we're going to need 800,000 gold. That's a lot of gold. So here we're going to take uh, advantage of our dragons, we're going to get some more habitats, and we're slowly going to build up our island so that it's really producing a great amount of gold. Let's see if we can build another habitat here. I think we have enough gold. Yes, perfect. So we're going to build, finally, that sea habitat. We're going to place that sea habitat kind of for now, we're putting it wherever. But later on, we're going to be a little bit more strategic on where we're placing our buildings. Stay tuned for more information on that. That's going to be coming up in future videos. Now, our sea habitat is ready, and we can finally place that sea dragon egg that is hatched. So we're going to place that beautiful dragon right there. We're going to level it up a little bit. I want to get the dragon to at least level 5 or 7 so that it's producing a decent amount of gold. I think seven is going to be great. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. Awesome. So now we're going to have a good production of gold. Here we're going to go collect that food. And we're going to regrow all of the food as well. Here in our hatchery, our nature dragon egg is ready. But our nature habitat is still in progress. So we still have, uh, what, 37 minutes left to wait. We're not going to wait for that in this video. This is going to happen in a different video. But for now, let's see where our habitats are at. Uh, our habitats can have two dragons each. Here, perfect, Terra habitat. 
we could get another Terra Dragon. So I'm going to go to our hatchery. We're going to get an egg in the ghoul department, and we're going to hatch another Terra Dragon. That's going to help us get some more food here. Ooh, and check this out. We've got an upgrade arrow on our Terra habitat. What does that mean? Here, I'm going to go to one of my more main Terra habitats, and let's go ahead and upgrade this. You know, right now we've got max gold of 500. This is going to be so beneficial. Check it out. Now our max gold is going to be 9,500. So this is going to help us get so much progress in the gold department. It's also going to give us some experience. And we're going to be able to have more dragons on this habitat. So that's going to be highly beneficial for our game. Here, our Terra egg is already ready. Let's go ahead and hatch it. We can place that cutie right there. And once again, I want to level it up just a little bit. We're going to stop at level five for this dragon here. So here, with the, the level being a little bit higher, we're going to be able to produce a lot more gold. Rock on. Let's get that experience. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So this is going great. And we have another space that we can have our dragon with. So here, let's go ahead. Why not? We're going to get another Terra dragon egg there. Beautiful. That is what I'm talking about. Buttes McGee for sure. So here, this is our island. We're on Lush Island right now. And we're not at the point where we're ready to expand to our next island. But we can already start clearing some of those little bushes. It's not that expensive. And it can give us a little bit of a boost in experience. So I'm going to go for the bushes. But I'm not going to go for the huge rocks, those bigger items that cost more gold. We just want to take the little items and clear those for a little bit of an experience boost. So that's going great there. Here, our Terra egg is ready to be hatched. So we're going to place that beauty right there. Awesome. And I think next up, when it comes to the eggs, uh, I'm going to go with the sea dragon. I believe there's still a space on this island. Yeah, looking good. So we're going to get a sea dragon right there. Keep that moving. Uh, what else can we do here? Oh, bushes are already ready. So there, that gives us a little bit of experience. Not too much, but still, it makes a difference. I'm stoked about it. And let's see what's next for us here. We're out of combats. We can't do any of the quest battles because we're waiting for that nature dragon. So here, oh, finally, the sea dragon is ready to be hatched. We can go ahead, place that beauty there. And we're going to level up our dragon just a little bit. Excuse me there. We're going to go to level five. Awesome. So that's going to give us a great gold production. Here we've got some gold that's coming through. And I'm running a little bit low on gold. So I'm just going to collect the gold that we have on our habitats. Beautiful. Yeah. So that's looking real good there. We, you know, we still don't have that much gold, but it's going to be a, you know, progressive thing. We got to keep getting dragons so we can get more gold. Then with the gold, we can get more habitats so we can get more dragons. Then we get food so we can upgrade the dragons so they can give us more gold. You get the gist of it. Here, I'm going to go ahead, get another Terra dragon. With this habitat over here, we have space for one more dragon. When it comes to these new Terra Dragons, I don't necessarily know if I want to upgrade them. I want to save my food for other more rare dragons that are going to come along the way, like this Nature Dragon that we're eventually going to be able to hatch. So here, we're going to place that Cutie Patootie Nature uh, Terra Dragon right there, and that's going great. Here, our food's about to be ready, and we're also going to check out the uh, food farms here. Ooh, ooh, do I want to upgrade my food farm? But that's going to cost us an arm and a leg. Here we're going to need 25,000 gold to upgrade our food farm. But it's going to help us because here, you know, for the food, we, you know, we, our, our biggest food, it takes 30 minutes. Once we upgrade our food farm, it's going to give us food. I think it's like, what, three hours? So that way we can grow more food. We can get more experience. And we don't necessarily have to be stuck in front of our game while we wait for that. Here, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to go for the 30-minute food. 
and we're gonna grow that. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's gonna be a bigger investment in getting higher level dragons in the long run. Here, we're just gonna collect a little bit more gold and we're gonna be able to grow once more the berry parcel. That's going great and that's about it for now. Here, you know, we can collect a little bit of gold in between the days to save up with the gold. Another thing I can do here, I could get another nature dragon egg for once our habitat is ready. Uh-oh, I don't have enough food yet. I mean, uh, enough gold. So let's see if we can't get that 500 gold. So I'm looking long term here. I want to get that gold. I want to invest it in leveling up everything. Here, I think we've got enough gold. Yeah, let's go get another nature dragon egg. So that's going to take 20 minutes. Here, this is another 30 minutes. I'm not going to wait for that. I'm going to wrap this up in just a second. And when we come back to this, we're going to have tons of gold waiting for us. We're going to have some food waiting for us. Our nature habitat, along with those two nature dragon eggs, we're going to be able to go do that uh, quest battle over here and make some more progress. Before I leave, one thing I want to do is I want to get my gold and then I want to spend my gold. So I'm going to collect any gold that might have appeared in those last few seconds there. Awesome. That's looking great there. And let's see. Next thing here, we've got a medium rock. That's way too expensive. I don't want to get rid of that just yet. Over here, I think behind the hatchery. Right there, we've got a bush, so I'm going to go clear that bush. We're going to clear a couple more of these little bushes here. It's an easy way to get some, you know, easy experience. It's not like a game changer or anything, but this is one thing I like to do before I take off. There's a lot of aspects to this game, and we're just starting to scratch the surface. So make sure you keep on watching the videos, and if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for the like. You can always subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell if you want to get notifications. That way, every time a new video comes out, you'll get a little no notification so that you know what's going on. I'm sending tons of positive energies out there. I hope everybody's having a blast playing the game. That's what it's all about, having fun along the way. So have fun with your dragons, have fun building up your city, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Peace.